Sarah. Uh, as we have discussed earlier about trademark filing and what are the documents which are required for trademark filing. Well, now in this video, let's discuss how can you maintain your trademark after filing. Well, uh, how can you protect the trademark after filing for your company and uh, what exactly is a trademark? One ultimately uh, need uh, to go into some uh, complexities in order to get the answers to such queries, right? So, uh, the Indian Trademark Act 1999 uh, provides uh, nationwide protection for anyone's trademark. However, a lot of individuals don't realize that uh, selecting, defending and uh, using a brand are all actions that follow after trademark registration. <coughs> Your business name and logo will receive uh, uh, joint law protection for uh, your trademark after filing. This might help uh, if someone uh, uses your trademark online or if they grow your business. Uh, but uh, it might not be helpful if uh, they merely use them uh, locally. Register your trademarks uh, with uh, the USPTO's Office of Trademark and Patent to give them uh, more thoughts nation uh, protection. <coughs> nation protection. So a uh, number of uh, procedure must be followed in order for uh, our trademark to be registered successfully, uh, which includes uh, ex extensive application uh, preparation and monitoring and uh, routine examination. So uh, let's discuss it step by step. So uh, first step is to prepare your assignment first. So how do you make your brand stand out? So this is the question arise when uh, you think about uh, trademark registration that uh, how do you make your brand stand out from others, right? So it is a vital to identify the unique selling uh, proposition of uh, your particular trademark when two uh, marks are similar and are applied to uh, comparable goods and services there is a frequently a potential of misunderstanding well if there is a feeling of doubt regarding another registered brand the uh, uspto won't register your uh, trademark so before requesting the uh, federal to protect the trademark after filing, you must do a thought uh, uh, trademark search to uh, a thorough uh, trademark search to uh, reduce the uh, likelihood that your application will be uh, denied for this reason. Now uh, next step uh, is to how one can prepare a, a trademark application before submitting and uh, this is the next step after uh, thinking about uh, uh, your brand name uh, that uh, you should prepare a trademark application before submitting it. So you must be prepared to defend your logo. Right, uh, your logo trademark or brand identification uh, when creating it. So the subsequent step is to submit a trademark application via uh, with a USPTO trademark electronic application service. If uh, your trademark search, uh, search does, not, uh, does not resolve any concern with any pending or registered trademark. A picture of your mark as it uh, currently appears to be used uh, alone is uh, essential as it is a specimen that uh, demonstrate how you uh, uh, employ the effect in your business such as uh, uh, label or uh, brochure so it is uh, uh, also necessary to list the kind of goods and services uh, for which your mark is used and uh, you must keep in mind that uh, uh, you will only obtain trademark rights for the classes of products or uh, services you list in your application so next step is that uh, if there is uh, there are any issue or concern your trademark registration will be given to uh, USPTO examination uh, examining attorney will uh, who will uh, analyze it and uh, give you a genuine document called an uh, office action uh, so you must react to office uh, request as soon as possible because if you don't your application will be deemed uh, inactive so after all uh, concerns have been uh, resolved and notification of your trademark has been published in uh, office gazette then uh, uh, any
एनी वन हु ऑब्जेक्ट टू द ट्रेडमार्क एप्लीकेशन मे रजिस्टर एन ऑब्जेक्शन एंड इन ऑर्डर टू रिप्लाई टू एन ऑफिस एक्शन यू मस्ट एलाय द वरीज ऑफ द यू एस पी टी ओ एग्जाम अटेंडिंग सो नेक्स्ट नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फॉलो अप ऑन योर मार्क विच इज यू हैव बिन रजिस्टर गिव द एप्लीकेशन टू रजिस्टर सो यू कैन स्टार्ट यूटिलाइजिंग द रजिस्ट्री रजिस्टर ट्रेडमार्क साइन एज सोन एज योर ट्रेडमार्क रजिस्टर इज ग्रांटेड हाईवर दिस इज नॉट वेर योर वेर यू अटेम्प्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट योर ट्रेडमार्क शुड एंड एंड इवन इफ द यू एस पी टी ओ रजिस्टर ट्रेडमार्क यू आर स्टिल रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर यूजिंग दैम कीप आ वॉच ऑन यू एस पी डी ओ फाइलिंग एंड ऑब्जेक्ट टू एनी एप्लीकेशन टू रजिस्टर ट्रेडमार्क दैट आर ऑलमोस्ट आइडेंटिकल टू योर और एज टू वे टू डिफेंड योर ब्रांड If you find that uh, another business is using a name or emblem that is confusingly similar to yours, registered trademark, another option is to employ force. Due to uh, your uh, federal trademark registration, you have the legal right to file a lawsuit in federal court if a simple uh, case letter is uh, uh, insufficient to stop an infringer. So uh, now. next step is to keep up with your trademark like uh, maintaining uh, maintenance of your document must be filed between uh, the four uh, the fifth and sixth year uh, following application and the ninth and tenth year following enrollment and then uh, every 10 year after that uh, trademark register have a 10 year uh, validity and that uh, can be uh, renewal for additional 10 year period your trademark registration will be cancelled if you missed a deadline so uh, you must uh, keep up with your trademark and uh, you can get a uh, registered trademark by filing a uh, in investigation and uh, assembling or uh, complaining application and uh, once your brand has been registered keep an eye on it and uh, complete maintenance form to ensure that your business uh, uh, acquired trademark and uh, protection is uh, maintained so the next step is to uh, be aware 